May 1998. Rajasthan, the Thar Desert stands still, hiding a secret beneath its sands. India is about to test its nuclear weapons again after 24 long years, but this time, the enemy isn't Pakistan, it's the eye in the sky. The United States' billion-dollar spy satellites that have been watching every inch of Indian soil since the Cold War. What unfolded next is one of the boldest acts of deception in modern military history. India's scientists and raw operatives pulled off a masterclass in stealth. Every satellite pass was tracked by hand, every movement disguised. The test sites were covered with sheets that were made to look like natural sand dunes. Scientists travelled as tourists. Army convoys moved only at night. Even the trucks carrying test devices were marked civilian equipment. The CIA, armed with satellites capable of spotting a cricket ball from space, saw nothing. They were so confident, they told the White House that India wouldn't dare test again. Then on May 11, 1998, the desert erupted. Five simultaneous nuclear blasts, Pokhran. The world was stunned. The CIA was humiliated. For Washington, it was the biggest intelligence failure since the fall of the Soviet Union. Declassified reports later admitted the truth. India had beaten the world's best surveillance network. The deception was so precise that not a single satellite caught visual proof until the explosions themselves. Behind the headlines, there was a deeper game. Pokhran 2 wasn't just a test. It was a message that India could outsmart superpowers, bend technology and define its own red lines. The US scrambled sanctions, but it was too late. India had entered the nuclear elite. Washington's spy eyes blinked, and New Delhi rewrote the rules of the atomic world. Pokhran 2 wasn't just a nuclear test. It was a surgical strike on American intelligence, a desert illusion that turned into a global shockwave. 